All right, so welcome with Crafting with Christina. I don't really have much support with my family, but I paid for this on my own and I wanna try it. So first things first is I took bags and just tied them around the legs. Okay, step one. Okay, so next, I put the chalk paint. I thought this was cream, but it's white. But look how easy it is. That's fine. I'm no turning back. It's on sale on, on Amazon. And put it in there. And then I did like. Remember the brush is wet already. I did like eight squirts of water because I don't want to water too much. Let's see. So I forgot to mention I'm using Snapchat to edit this video because it's just easier that way. Don't judge me. I should know how to edit. I did go to University of Miami to learn how to do that, but mom life is no joke. And so Snapchat's gonna help me. Stirring. Huh? Okay, sorry about that. I was having fun with the filter, but really, I'm just stirring like so. And I did about eight squirts of water. And this is white. Wasn't really looking for white, but that's all right. No turning back. Let's see what happens. All right, I'm scared. I'm gonna do the back first. Here we go. Oh my God. They said to do circles and let it absorb. God. So this is the chalk paint and they said to do it in circles. This is wet. I'm going to water it down a little bit because they said it'll get hard and to just do it in a circular motion. Am I scared? Yes, but I'm going to keep on trying and see what happens. This is coat one. Let's see. All right, so I did just okay, the back, I mean, me when I but I'm getting kind of impatient. To dry, but really? I'm watching day. YouTubers. Oh, yeah, we'll show you. Okay. Oh. But I wanted to do just the back, but I'm getting so impatient, I just want to keep going. So one thing that I did was I did it super thin. The YouTubers that I saw seemed like they were doing it kind of thick. But then when I was reading like what they could have done differently, they said they would do it really thin. So you can see where it's not so thick. Um, but the goal is kind of to dye it rather than paint it. You want it to be absorbed into the fabric. So I'm spraying a little bit and kind of rubbing it in to make sure that it's going in. Do I know what I'm talking about? No, but that's okay. Let's see what happens. You don't know unless you try. Okay, spray. Says to make sure that it's nice and wet. Just plain water. Hopefully, oh, Schwizzlers, I forgot to put a bag on there. All right. So wet and I have to put a bag on there. Okay. So what I initially wanted to do just the back to see what happens, but I'm really impatient. I want to take advantage that Lorenzo's sleeping and I'm going to keep going. So what I saw is that a lot of people kept emphasizing watering down, watering down because you don't want to paint it necessarily. You want the fabric to catch the dye. So I, Put a little bit of paint like this, like that, and then circular motions, and then I'm also watering it down. Because I figure if you do it thin, I could always add a little more. I sound like I know what I'm doing, but I don't. I'm just really good at pretending. So I'm gonna keep going, see what happens. All right, this is where it gets real. I'm crossing over. Did I want to just wait for this side? Yes, but I have no patience. So I'm gonna dip de do. Oh my god. Oh 
Okay, gotta go. So make sure that the fabric is wet, they said. If they got a little excited, wetting the fabric. And then, oh, like that. Oh my God. <gasps> this is so nerve wracking. Oh my goodness. All right, let's see what happens. And then I will add more water to this part. Because again, we're trying to die, die, die. Oh my God. <gasps> I like the fact that it's velvet. I like the pin tucking. I do not like the color or the skirt. We're gonna rip off the skirt and we're gonna paint it. We're gonna... What's wrong? You're mad? No, I'm not mad. Why are you making fun of my ideas? Because the mess that you're doing it. So if it comes out nice, are you gonna sit on it? Nope. Okay, so I took a quick dip in the pool, but I'm playing YouTube videos in the background. And one thing that a girl said was to take a sanding sponge with a light grit and sand it in. So let's see. So she said like, after you paint it, it's hard because I'm doing this with one hand, but she said that a sanding brush, if you see, she says that it evens it out, which actually it did. Look, you see how it's evening out? It doesn't look blotchy. So I gotta apply more paint and use the sanding sponge to kind of make it even. Hmm, okay. And then she said to avoid it being blotchy. You do water and a sanding sponge. Which I really think it works. Look. 